All right. All right, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to NorCal Sports Network. And Vince says, let's go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we're ready so, to Mike, roll tonight. When the uh, hell is Snell signing? I'm tired of the shit. How about that? What is Think that? all of us I are. Put my glasses on. Oh, when? Yeah, well, it sounds like it's going to be this weekend. I think so. Maybe even tonight. Maybe tonight. Maybe, Maybe I heard that he's in talks with Houston. So I don't know if that's heard the a, same thing. Heard the same don't, thing. Don't know if it's true or not. Uh, What's up, Dr. Dilly. Mike says Dan doesn't know what, to, what team to root for. Ah, I know who I'm rooting for. I just uh, I'm, Texas I, Rangers. <laughs> They're my American League team. Although I'm kind of yeah. starting to like the A's. Man, they're getting all the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. What is it? They got years? Alex Wood and Ross Robert. Stripling, and now they got J.D. Davis. Hey, wouldn't it be hilarious if the A's actually out had a oh. better record? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I don't know how that will work out. Uh, so, th yeah, this is uh, – this is going to be um, this whole Snell thing. I don't see if the Houston Astros are involved. Come on, I don't see it's how the, the Astros. Giants... If it's about winning, he's going to go to the Astros. Yeah, yeah. Astros want to win. Uh, Jim Crane wants to win. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you're dealing with the owner that gets involved with this versus, you know, the Giants uh, situation, and if. The owner says, "Go get them." They're going to get them, and they're already in the through the first uh, threshold of the luxury tax. So it would be, um, a, you know, another tax possibly. Um, hold on one sec. Yeah, go for it. Hey, chat. While uh, while Dan's uh, away for here a minute, you guys find it interesting that he has to have a showcase. The guy's a reigning Cy Young. Um, why does he have to have a showcase? <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's had a year off or he didn't go over to, he didn't go over to the, uh, NPB or the KBO or anything like that. I mean, guy, he'd been playing in the, the MLB for what? The last few years, reigning Cy Young. Why, why did he need a showcase? That's, I find that a little bit interesting. Any, anyone else find that odd to see how ready he is? I mean, I don't know. I thought I thought it was a little bit weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Guess making sure he's staying in shape. Yeah, possible. But to have a showcase, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I yeah, Mike. I thought so too. I thought it was a little bit weird. I think you kind of know what you're getting in Blake Snell. I don't think he has to showcase. Look, if they want to look at him, <laughs> do a caliper test. Uh, let's let's see what is. Uh, his body fat, and if he's been in shape, okay. I think everyone understands what he could bring to the table on the pitching mound. Yeah, a little bit weird. A little bit weird. Yeah, Robert, I don't know. Could be. It could be. I don't know. I mean, the the Astro, their, their window is kind of, I don't know. Is their Astro's window, window closing? I don't know about that. Yeah, I think so. Their farm system's rough. They don't have a good farm system. They're trading it away. They've already lost. Well, they still uh, got T Kyle Tucker, Jordan Alvarez. Uh, he's a free agent, though, next year, Tucker. Oh, Jordan's a free agent next year. Uh, no, Tucker. Wait, wait. No. Tucker is a – no, Bregman is a free agent next Bre year. Bregman and, is, yeah. And then Tucker is the year after uh, in 25, I think. Uh, pretty sure. I think it's – I just read it. Um, careful, Jack. Careful. I don't know if the Giants are pushing for Snell, but you know it's the whole the thing we've always hear. <clears throat> they are in on Snell. You know what that means? Look at this guy, orange. Nice hat, Dano. We bleed orange. Mm. Uh, I probably have orange, more orange hats than you do. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Look, orange, oh, orange. Man. There's, there's one right there. There's a couple more. 
right underneath that black one yeah, over there. I see it. I see it. There's a couple more up there in that closet. I got orange all over the place. I got orange world champions. Okay. I got more orange than Orange Julius. <laughs> what? <laughs> orange Julius. Uh, Senior says, what's up, fellas? You see Davis playing big in the Big West semis right now with Hawaii. And I have to be up at 445 to drive the Turlock. Hey man, when you drive by uh when you drive by uh Galt, here how's give that? me a nice little wave. I could actually see the 99 from the back of in my backyard. Who who said that, senior? Yes, yeah, oh he's oh hey, we got an announcement on uh is a senior saying he has to get off the show, get get to bed soon, or is that what he was saying? Yeah, he's got a he's got a tournament this weekend. Well, let him let let's let's announce our little uh mm. yes. Okay, guys. As you all know, NorCal Sports Network is having let me bring it up. Fantasy baseball. This is gonna be fun. Our team is already full right now. So no one else. I mean, all everything everyone's been do we have it confirmed or is I'm it, pretty it, sure, guys. Okay, this is gonna I see a couple of people in there. Got myself, got senior, will be Glenn, good friend up in Canada, the Mart Foundation, which is Cliff Martinez, Carlo P, Aaron Lost, <laughs> Robert B, Mike Chapman, Nick. Mike, yeah, Mike is for Chapman. Yeah, or, or you can just Vince call him. Wait, you can call Mike. You can call him. You can call Mike uh, Chapman, or you can just call him Mike. Mike. Uh, you can say Mike, or you could you could put Homer in there. He's a he's a Homer. <laughs> we got Vince Russo joining NorCal Sports Network Fantasy Baseball. Good old Dan, he finally committed. Yeah, after finally after I committed after I find out what the prize is for first and okay, last. yeah, we're gonna get into the prizes, guys. We're gonna get into the prizes. And then to round it out, we got Dr. Dilly. All right, guys, here, let's see. Let's get a roll call. Is here. Dr. Dilly, uh, is he in here enough? Yeah, to, he's in is here. He, he's, is he here tonight? He's here tonight. Dr. Dilly's okay. in here. Okay. Is he committed? I think so. Dr. Dilly, you're committed. Yeah, there it is. Let's okay. go. Is, is that is that just a name or is he really a doctor? Uh, I guess as good as mine. Are you, a, are you a doctor of some kind? Dr. Dilly, are you really a doctor? All right. I think every, I see everybody in here. There we go. All right, we're still we're still debating what the entrance fee. There is going to be an entrance fee. All right. I guess right now we're talking between twenty five. He's not a doctor. Okay, not. A doctor. But he plays one on TV. Remember okay. Holiday Inn Express. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Um, oh, Robert Boyd right? is isn't he the one that said he's going to whip you up and down? The yep. Yep. Robert's the one that. Yep. 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 There we go. I got so a good. secret weapon now that I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> uh tw we're thinking between 25 and 50. We'll see. All right. Uh I'm guessing the top 3, right, are probably going to get cash yeah. rewards. Yeah, it's 20 to that's 20 or 50 we're thinking in terms of 1000, 20,000 <laughs> in three. Not, yeah. not $20. 20 25,000 $25, entry, okay? <laughs> Some of you lightweights out there aren't going to be able to afford it, but we're going to uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a vote on that. Eric. I ain't playing either for twenty five thousand. I mean, we 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 you got we got to have an interest fee because we don't want people bowing out if they're getting their asses whooped. Okay, you can't do that. You know, you can't do that. Look at the smack talk is already out. It's there. It's already it's already beginning. Okay, so there is going to be a cash reward, right? First through third, but there's also going to be a special. Hardware, baby. We're going to have hardware, guys. And I've already been making phone calls about where to get this made. So we'll, we'll, can here we, we go. See, can we see the hardware? Here we go, guys. <laughs> hey, look at my the hardware is not us, by the way. <laughs> it's a, come on. All right, here we go. Uh, bring up the uh, brand. Uh, I think I already got it in. There it is. This, the first place. And last place, we'll each have a trophy. Some type of trophy. 
Move Here we go. Head. If you win, you will get the Sabes. <laughs> if you come in last, you'll get the Farhani. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Vince. <laughs> That's for you, bud. Hey, so, bro. So here you go. The poor honey go, is guys. going to Vince Russo. I'm calling it right now. Vince Russo is going <laughs> to put that Farhani <laughs> trophy right in his studio. There we go, guys. I can't First wait to place. see that. I can't Not wait only. to see see that hardware. <laughs> Not in, only in do Vince's you get cash studio. money. You get the saves, but if you come in last, you're getting a far honey. <laughs> yeah, give me the saves, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, look at Lo Lowe's are lost. He already wants. He already wants the far honey. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Wait even a minute. We don't have an imposter. <laughs> Do we have an imposter? Oh man, look at that! Did someone steal Vince? Yes. Under oh man. Yeah, no, it's it's no big deal. He has his own. I'm pretty sure he has. His oh, own. that's right. He's the uh, what was his Russo's deal? brand? Russo's brand. Russo's brand. Yeah. Oh my god! Dan will get the far honey. <laughs> so it's gonna, you know, this is gonna be a competitive seven days. Is that true? I heard, I heard two you... to three days. Yeah, we're. Seven days. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I cannot wait. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. We'll bring that up again before we get out of here. Oh bring that you... up again. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be great. Young Hu Lee. Let's get into that. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, another injury in camp. Oh boy. Um, and it's a hammy. It's a hammy. Um Ethan oh, Small but... went down for an oblique. So he's gone too. Well, there goes another lefty. Yeah, he's going to he's going to miss several weeks according to what I read. Uh, I think it was uh Alex Pavovich said that, if I'm not mistaken. Our buddy Corey Cooper says on Twitter regarding the Blake Snell <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, no, he's watching here on Twitter. Oh, right on. Says, What's up, Corey? And the final headline will read Giants were close enough for a sniff. <laughs> but no snell <laughs> hey i like that but no, sniff, but no but no but no smell i like that yeah a sniff but no snell it's a t-shirt right there um yeah what is going on how could you be pulling a hammy already come on this is spring training we can't be doing this guys right what is going on? What is with the San Francisco Giants and having issues with their hammies? That's yeah, unfortunately it's oh. all of it, all of baseball. But real quick, uh, so you guys know, for those who are going to be in the league, the draft will take place on Tuesday, March twenty sixth, right here on NorCal Sports Network at eight thirty p.m. We're going to go live with the draft. So those who want to come in and show your guys' mug while we uh conduct a draft you guys are more than welcome but we can only fit i think up to 10 i think eric should give me his hair <laughs> what? <laughs> what what i don't have enough come on you want me to get my farhan glasses on hey, i think i think lo should uh, come in here on the draft night and actually uh, be the commissioner of it, like the uh, overseer. He'll be the mm. Farhan. Mm. The Farhani. He'll be. <laughs> uh, uh, the real yes, truth is Spencer Vince will be in. I've, I contacted him through email today and uh, he said he's, he's ready for it. There's, what's up, God of Anarchy? What's up? <laughs> God of anarchy. God of anarchy. But I like the 55. Good old Timmy Lincecum. Yeah. I I I just if I get the Farhani, I don't see how I can get the Farhani. How can I how can I get the Farhani? Let's look at the list. Let's take a I mean, look. 
Let's I mean, take a look at this. You look list. at this list. I, I don't know everybody, but I know you. I don't see how <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know everybody, but I know you. Oh, man. Look at that. Let's take a look at this. Eric Sr., Will B. Glenn, Mar Foundation, Carlo Pierre. Hey, look at that. How many guys from our fantasy football we've got? uh, We got Carlo P. We got Carlo P. and Will B. Myself. And and myself. And that's it. And that's it. Four of the 12. A third. Not too bad. Carlo P. I met Carlo P. Oh yeah, and you did. We got yeah. You gave his son a signed autograph ball from uh, Luis, right? Yeah, Luis Matos. Let's pull that up. What I'm trying. I, why am I forgetting his name all of a sudden? His son. Hold on, I'll, I'll find it real quick. I should have Will. His son was Will. Will. I've got a son named Will. That's Look at that. why I should. I should remember. Let let's, me go let's, let's, let's 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 pull that up. Let's have yep, a little. Yep, uh, yep. Here we go. I should have, you know, when I, I, I thought of it yes the other day Monday because I was at the game same ballpark. I should have filmed Luis signing it. Oh yeah, you should have. Golly, man! Here we go. All right, back here, NorCal Sports Network, out at uh, Surprise Stadium with uh, Carlo P down here from Salt Lake City. Yes, we're here. And, Enjoying the weather. Join the weather and Will right here. We got Will right here. Hey, Will. Oh, this is the one that uh, is from the. Uh, you did a short and it, it doesn't show it very well. No, this right one is just. Yeah, yeah. Because the way you it, open it up filmed the glove it with the, here. With the camera oh, phone, yeah. You got to kind of have to, I think, go land. Fine ball. Happy birthday. 11th birthday to Will. Look at that. Signed by Luis. Matos, what? happy birthday from Luis Matos. Oh, well, we didn't get his. We didn't get his. Uh, didn't uh, show up uh, there. Yeah, I didn't get quite. There hey, it but it's I got proof. the original. Right, I got the original version. I put it on Twitter and it came out better. Yeah, I don't know because it, because the YouTube shorts they only it crops it down to that way. It's kind oh, of that's weird. weird. That's yeah, weird. it's just the way it is. YouTube. Hmm. Is Nick Ahmed really getting number 55? If that's the case, I'm no way. out. That's no true. I'm way. Did so somebody's already gotten 55 since Timmy's left, right? Nope. Who's that? Oh, who's someone. So, oh, hold on. They gave 55 to somebody in spring training, right? Right? I can't remember. I thought I thought they did. I think they gave, yeah, they gave Nick Ahmed 55 in spring training. And they gave um Someone else, number 40. Who did they give number 40 to? They gave Mad Bum's number out. and Yeah, 40s. Who's wearing it? Um, somebody. Who's that, Ahmed? Ahmed's got 40, I Ahmed's think. Ahmed's got yeah, 40. Ahmed's right? got 40, yeah. Yeah. Dan, don't lie. You signed it. No, I didn't sign that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's take a look at this list. Who do we think is going to come in last place? I think I got a good idea who may come in last place. I think I got a good idea. Really? Yeah. Got a good idea. <laughs> Let me look. You taking a gander? There you go. I'll put it in the private <clears throat> chat. See if we... <laughs> Hold on, put that list up there again. I got to oh, see it. You want to put it back up? All right, here we go. Who's last place? <laughs> okay, the bottom two is uh, Vince, you, and Dr. Dilly, and then we got up here. Uh, I got a feeling who's going to come in last. <laughs> Let me see. See if I'm right. <laughs> I get uh, it? Here. I was thinking of more along this line. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm th- that's what I'm thinking. Could be, we'll see. I don't think so. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. We're talking about some of you guys. <laughs> Look at Robert. <laughs> oh man, I want. I wonder who. I wonder who could come in last place. <clears throat> um. 
<laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is naming your team the break evens? The break. Oh, I already got I already know what my, the name of my team is gonna be. I already know the name of my team. Maybe I should just take the Busters boys from fantasy football and take it Ooh, right into baseball. I don't know, man. Isn't that kind of like you know when you name a boat you don't ever want to change it type of thing with fantasy football? I don't know. Oh, well, it is Buster. And it is Buster's, you know. Yeah, true. It's up to you. I don't hey, know. There you go. Ready to go. Camp, NorCal Sports Network, inaugural <laughs> champion. And I'm about to be the inaugural champion of okay. the NorCal Sports Network Baseball League, even though I've never Ooh. played it. If you take this one, that's going to be awesome. By the way, those who get the award, you get to hold it on for a whole year until – the end of the next. There you go. I like Cliff's name. I'd like to change my team name to 20 <laughs> 28. Oh, who man. was the 20 and 8 predictor? Was oh, it Michael got it, man. He got it. Man, he read my mind. What did Michael? Where's Michael? What did he say? <laughs> Michael will be the, uh, Eric will be the Debbie, the Debbie Downers. Downers. Yeah. Maybe you be Debbie Downer two and I'll be Debbie Downer one. Yeah, we'll maybe to... we'll do that. Maybe we'll <laughs> do that. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Don't don't collude here, Robert. No collusion starting. Yeah, no collusion. We can't no be collusion. You can't be one of the major league owners and get in into this league <laughs> and be a co lead the collusion pack. <laughs> Uh, no, I like who was the guy, man? I can't remember who was in a chat. I like the do better Danny's. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> Someone said that in there. I can't remember who in the chat said that. Who had was... the Giants at 20 and 8? Vince. <laughs> Vince did. Was it was he serious? I was that Vince? I remember that. I, now Vince that you said say that. It, he said 20 and 8. He no, no, he was he was that was just hyperbole. Completely oh, really? resurrecting Gabe's food review. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that got you pretty far. Got you second place. I changed it to Matt Gates. Remember the the uh how many Giants players will be drafted? Probably only I I'll say 20. Three. I'm taking Just them three. all. <laughs> not, not with that damn, not with the damn Farhani on the line. You yeah. really want to get a you're gonna get a Farhani if you get if you pick all Giants. Of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, pressure boy. Mm -hmm. good boy. Good boy. Oh my gosh. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a little bit of you got JD Davis signing with the A's, right? Hey. How about that? MF MF Journey, you're really close. That that's that's bordering oh, on a timeout. Yeah, That's blasphemy. more pal blasphemy. Yeah, don't ever say that I have anything to be. Although Farhani's outfit is <laughs> right up there. So. Wait a sec. Hold on. Where was this? Let me see something. Man, you know what? I I've got to get this. Bauer's a class act, very involved with the community and great teammate. Yeah, I like Bauer. I, I wish Trevor Bauer would get uh, – is there a trade limit for Dan? Hmm. Um, mm. Mm. Come on, what the heck's going on here? Hmm. You're talking about Farhani, right? Hmm. 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 I don't know. Yes, hamstring. He's not. He's not out, is he? He made a big catch to that. It's so obvious in the second one. I mean, it's it's just. Yeah, you don't you don't have the ability to get him because one, you're a horrible GM, and two, you don't have the manager and coaching staff fit to to help boost that player up. Yeah, or the it, team. 
it, it's it's disgusting and um farhan you know. would say <laughs> Are, are, are you are you sure that I said that, Dan? Uh, well, what, are, you well, sure well, well are you sure you're not paraphrasing that, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Lowe's. Put those glasses on. Here, put these on right here. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I know. I could get it if I actually find it. <laughs> Dan, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was a great moment. Oh, man. Oh, great. <coughs> Choking up here. Hold on. I get I'll be back in a sec. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> Oh man, those are the good old days right there, right? That was classic NorCal Sports Network right there. Oh, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, JD Davis only got 2.5 from the A's. I hate the way Farham treated him, but he clearly had negative negative market value at 5.8. Davis contract would have hurt a trade package. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's there's some, I mean, from what I've heard, you know, uh, the Giants offered him 6.5, and I guess he wanted to, uh, to accept it, but I guess they've got too far into the deadline, so there wasn't going to be any more room for negotiation or something like that. So there were there were some there was some weirdness going on between JD Davis and and uh and the Giants. Enoch, the only teams that I actually heard talk about being at the at the showcase were the Giants and Astros. But it also said there were other teams there. I heard four to five teams. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question there, uh, Enoch. But I've also been hearing that uh, the Astros have been pretty heavy in negotiations with Snell. What does that mean? Nothing right now. Nothing. Eddie, the classic days are still to come. <laughs> yes, Jim. Uh, JD did go to Oakland and yes, I saw your message or your uh, chat earlier. Yes. Jung Hoo Lee does have a sore hamstring. Yep. And Ethan small, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was in a running for a bullpen spot. He pulled an oblique. He's going to be up for a few weeks. So there you go. There's your injury update. Your San Francisco giants. Injury update brought to you by Dignity Health. Oh, we're, we're really not sponsored by Dignity Health. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too, there, uh, Andrew. And let's not forget, you also lose another draft pick and another $500,000 off of the uh, international draft uh, pool. So altogether, Giants would be if if they sign Snell, they would give up another draft pick, which is then now, now you're losing two draft picks in the upcoming draft, and you're going to lose a, a total of a million dollars in international draft money. Yeah, there you go. And that was uh, that's one of the things. I mean, you already you already, like I said, you already lost that uh, that draft pick and five hundred thousand from signing. Uh, Chapman. So you're kind of actually giving up. You're giving up a player to sign Chapman to an extent. Granted, it's going to be a prospect. Don't know what that's going to come up. But yeah, I mean, I would, that that's a risk. And, you know, if you want to take that risk, that's fine. We're always talking about taking risks. But I don't know. I thought the need was elsewhere. Michael Roeder, not worth it. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If I remember correctly, didn't the Giants sign quite a few international players last year? I thought they only signed one. Wasn't it that Rainer, Rainer Arias or Arias, Arias? I thought that was the only guy that they got last year from the international. Could be wrong. They, I think that was the biggest name. I think you still sign a bunch of guys, but I think the big name was, was Rainer. It's a good point, Casey, but you still got to do it, right? You, I mean. There's a lot of guys that have come out of the international draft that have been fantastic, right? Ronald Acuna. Cespedes was pretty good. Uh, Yasiel Puig. You know, my gosh, if you just didn't have 
you know, attitude issues, man, that guy could have been freaking a superstar. Gosh, who else? Who else is out there? Ozzy Albies? Um, uh, Luis Robert, right? Or Luis Robert? Bunch of guys out there. I don't know if he's related to the Joaquin. Soto, Tatis, there you go. Giovanni, he is back. Welcome back. I can't name one San Francisco international from outside of Pablo Sandoval. That's made it. Yeah, you don't. Uh, huh. Yeah. I can't think of one either. No, they don't participate. They're, they have their own draft. Remember that, Mark? That was one of the one of the stipulations. I think that was uh, hanging up the CBA, right? Something about having a separate or having them part of the actual draft. What's up, Brian? Yeah, Pablo was a draft pick. Yep. That's a that's a while ago, though. <laughs> you know, we're talking back in last decade. Lucius Fox. Yeah, there you go. Luis Castillo, good one. Luis, yeah, Lucius Fax, he, uh, Lucius Fox, but he didn't do much, right? He didn't do much at all. I know he was the talk of the town, remember? He's going to be the next big thing. Doval, Matos, there you go. Doval, yeah, there you go. Doval's a the good one. Position player, maybe Matos, but we don't know, Skywalker, until they decide to play the guy. Maybe next year, I guess. Maybe next year. I'm I'm talking as coming out of spring training as your dedicated outfielder, not uh not sitting at AAA waiting for Yaz or somebody else to to get an injury and then he fills in. Yeah, we wind up trading Fox. I think didn't we trade him to um didn't we trade him to Tampa Bay? Right, I think that's what it was. I can't remember what pick uh, Bailey was. I think he was in a 2020. I think he was in the same draft class as uh, Schmidt and Harrison, if I'm not mistaken. Liriano. Okay, good one, Gilbert. Yeah, it was the race. All right, thanks. All right, let's see what else we got in there. But I don't know about you guys, but uh, I kind of put that in the description. Is anyone, is there anyone out there? <laughs> Angel Villanova. Yeah, he's got a lot of height. Yeah, he knows how to, he knows, a, he knows how to use a gun. <laughs> That's about as much hype as that guy got. Um, is there anyone else there? Is there anyone out there that feels confident at all that the Giants can sign Blake Snell? I'm not going to, I'm not asking a question whether we should or shouldn't. I'm asking you, do you think the Giants will? You think there's a good chance? <laughs> or are we going to fall into the hole Giants were in on? Yeah, Gilbert, yes. He was a killer. Skywalker, okay. Thinks that we may get Snell. Andrew, no. Aaron, no. Ryan, not if Houston is in the picture. KC, no, I don't think so. Michael Roeder, no, not a chance. Cliff Martinez, hell no, 0% chance. Not to mention, they still have to remove two to three players off the 40-man since the 40-man roster since one-third of their arms are on IL. Hmm. Carlo P, nope. Glenn, no. Giovanni, and Farhan, we trust. That wasn't the question, man. What do you mean, Farhan, you trust? Come on, guys. We'll Dan's, be Dan. Dan Shit. Dan, Dan. Babe. Ha, ha. Dan got a little choked up tonight and he couldn't make it. So I'm taking his place. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, Howard. No. Oh, no. Hey, everybody. Oh, my. God. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. I can't really see too good, though. So let me put these glasses on. Maybe I can see a little better. Oh, my gosh. So what are you guys talking about? 
Blake Snell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Blake Snell. Chances. Yeah. Oh, hey, how's that? How's that boiler coming? It's getting there. Working on it. Working. Oh man, far gone. Come on, man. Yeah. What, what are you doing? You drinking some milk or something? Well, <laughs> hey, guess what? Look, I saw a picture of Farhan. Look what he's wearing. <laughs> no, what happened? Come on, no way. No way. Look, he's got... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Look my at that. God. See? Here we Got the go. Same, same picture. It's just, it's me, guys. It's me. Fargon Z. Oops, I forgot my name. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> I, I left. Yeah, what are you trying to do? You're trying to impersonate oh, shoot. Dan. Shoot. Dan, well, we'll just pretend Dan's here because he's not able to make it right now. So. Okay, um, Fargon. So what's the deal? Are you going to go get Snell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> yeah. Work what's uh, that mean working on it? You've been working on a lot of stuff this, this Well, you know, it's a it's a competitive sport as you well know and we like a lot about Blake Smith, smell Snell and um Yeah, Blake <laughs> I guess it's me that smells um jeez <laughs> Blake Smell. <laughs> well, we, we, we like we like Blake. We like Blake. But we yeah. already have one Blake. <laughs> yeah. You know? In, in the minors, right? Well, he made it on, on our club last year, Blake. In fact, <laughs> I might just try and sign him so he can say Blake to Blake. <laughs> you know? Blake, Blake to Blake? Blake to Blake. Blake. That's right. <laughs> what? Blake to Blake. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Inter interesting. All right. For some reason, for you know, last you year we had the first Samoan combo. Correct. That's right. And now Manaya to Blake, right? Yeah. M Manaya to, to Blake. And to, no, it's Manaya to, to Sable. But now we're going to try and I don't know if there's ever been a Blake to Blake in baseball. No, never been so, a Blake to Blake. Something you I'm going to try, hey, I'm gonna try and do. Their last names it. both end in S. Blake S to Blake S. Yeah, hell, look at this. Somebody um, got a comment there. Senior, senior softball games. That must be an old man. What do you got? Old people in the show? Yeah, our demographics up there. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Fargon, right. your thoughts on NCSN using your name for its fantasy league championship trophy? Big honor, no? Well, uh, uh, big honor. Yeah. What, what's what's the award? Someone wins the league, they they get a Fargon trophy. Far yeah, well, huh? if, here it is, right there. There you go. If you come in first place, your predecessor will get the Sabes. And the, those who come in last place, or the person that comes in last place, will get a Farhani. Why last place? I've never been in last place. Have I? Hmm. I don't know about last place, but you definitely haven't seen first place. I got 21. That 21. Was... I, I, I orchestrated 107 wins. It was all me. Did all you me. win? Did you win the championship? No, but we, we did, set did a you record make it? for the San Francisco Giants in only my third year, and I got rid of the other clown that was, you know, I was calling all the shots and Buster. Hmm. Did you get past the division? Truth comes series? out, huh? I was calling the shots that year. <laughs> did you get past the division series? Well, we should have, but still got that bad check swing on. Uh, <laughs> That was a check swing. 2021 was the year of bad check swings. If I remember right, Ruff yeah. got a nice little check swing in Dodger Stadium. Yeah, that's right. Hey, let's, let's not talk about it. Eric, how is the scoring work in our draft? Northern Lights Entertainment says. We're going to get into that. It's going to be a five by five there, uh, Glenn. So we're going to have five offensive categories and five defensive categories. What kind of defensive categories are there? If I'm not mistaken, I think it's going to be wins, ERA, strikeouts. Wins, um, ERA, strikeout. 
What else? What else would there be in defense? Least runs. Uh... Mm, I don't know. What else? Senior. What other? What's the other two for? Uh, for defensive, you got strikeouts. You got wins. You got ERA saves. There you go. There's the fourth. Innings pitched. Innings. I don't know because we can't. We may be able to max out on that. I don't know if holds are in there. Senior, what's in there? Oh, say okay. What's the fifth one? Is it whip? Let's see. Whip, possibly, possibly holds. All right, we'll see. So we got four of them for sure. Whip, whip, do <laughs> whip it good. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should get one of those hats. What do we got here? I got some questions. It looks like in your chat there. Uh, somebody said, uh... "Where are we at?" Oh, here you go. Well, Mike, he's a he. Matter of fact, Mike is a is a strong admirer of you there, Fargon. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, Mike. Why did I do JD? Why did you do JD Davis like that? Mess up, man. Well, you know, um, you know, we love JD, and it's just. We had too many corner infielders, and um, you know, truth be told, um, I was trying to save some money. Um, and you know, I, he uh, it was nothing personal. It, son of a gun beat me in arbitration. That little take me to arbitration never get uh, never that I'll show. Uh, it, you know, we love JD, and uh, it was again nothing personal at all about the guy. Uh, I, I hope he does well and I hope he has a productive year. I hope the guy sucks and he doesn't do well. Uh, um, no, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I hope I don't get <laughs> screwed up in this grievance. I'm dead meat. I'm dead to right. Aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Way. You might be in some trouble there for going. Maybe. I, sure, I hope they don't do any, uh, Polygraph test. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, they put me oh. on. A, um, am I talking? Can am I? No. Oh, whoa. you're not muted. No, you're not muted. We hear you loud and clear. What? You hear my thoughts? No, we you hear, hear you loud and clear. Speaking. Oh, I'm speaking my thoughts. Oh gosh, I must be nervous. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> oh, real quick, Glenn. It's gonna be for the. It's gonna be tallied up for the whole season. So whoever, for example, whoever has the most strikeouts, you know, since there's gonna be twelve people in the league, the winner of the most strikeouts will have twelve points. the The one that has the least amount of strikeouts, in other words, last place in that category, Robert, he will get one point. <laughs> one point. And that's how, and then of course, that's like that for the other nine categories another four in defense, and then and then five in offense. Can you turn those, um, uh, that can you turn that, um, that thumbnail that you put together with the trophies into a t shirt? Ooh, man, that might be a damn good idea. Man, we might have to do that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Why Farhan, not? always always thinking. <laughs> always thinking about that buck. <laughs> yeah, you know, um gosh, I tell you what. Was it that meeting today? Hey, just between you and me, Eric. We went up to Seattle today. Uh, oh, okay. There's nobody listening, right? No, no one's okay. listening. All right. We we went up to Seattle. Blake Snell was pitching in a uh, um, simulated simulated game. Yeah, he pitched four innings. But truth be told, we we just we we went up there just to look like we're in on him. We 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 we. I'm not spending that kind of money. There's no way I'm going to spend that kind of money. So, but if it looks like we're in. And you know the bidding. I saw the Astros out there. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm like, uh, you know, I have no chance against the Astros. I mean, 
I, Pete Petulia, he's, you know, we got him from the Astros because they didn't want him. But uh, <laughs> the bottom line is this. Don't ever tell anybody my what I'm doing. This is just between you and me, okay? Sure, um, just between you and I. Don't worry about YouTube. Don't worry yeah. about Twitter. You're, you're all good. Yeah, just okay. Us. So we're not live right now. Okay, no, good. We're good. So we're off. This is all off the record. Off the record. I, I do everything to make it look like we're in. I never was in on Otani. These people think I. It's like me. You think Farhan's going to come and sign with the Giants when they got the mighty Dodgers? I mean, I worked for the Dodgers. I worked for the Giants. There's just there's there's no there's no um, there's no comparison right now. I mean, I I just have to. You're saying there's a chasm. Yeah. The, it's, I just have to look, make it look like I'm in on this. And I got this gig, man, and I'm just collecting money. These Giants owners are just the stupidest crap, man. They just, they don't know anything. I, I'm the guy with the Harvard degree, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm taking these clowns for a ride, you know, and they signed me for a three-year deal because I convinced them that we're really close. <laughs> we're so far, man. We, you know, but if, if I could just, Act like you know. I've, I'll fill in a couple guys, make it look like you know Soler and Chapman. You know these guys it makes it look. Like, hey, it looks makes us look formidable. Makes me gets me another. You know, gets me guy. There's a guy out there, and I think he watches the, your show called Vince Russo. He, he he likes. He thinks I'm doing a great job. I got him convinced. So, you know, <laughs> um, bottom line is this. I got to make it look like we're in on this so that my shareholders and the owners, you know, I mean, if I lose to the Astros, okay. I lose to the Dodgers. I, I used to the Yankees. I, what, I can just, with that. Say, okay. I can just say, Hey, look, they're big boys and they, Oh, you know, you want to stay in budget or you want to lose money? They said, I speak their language. So, ah. uh, uh, you know, it's just a matter of all I got to keep doing is throw him a bone every now and then, you know, I land a guy and it, it makes everybody think, you know, look, I'm doing my job. Yeah. I, I got Jordan Hicks. I promised him a starting position. <laughs> we, we know he can't start, but you know what? It made Jordan feel good. And we'll give him a, we'll give him April and part of May, but you know, when Cobb comes back, we'll, we'll move him to the bullpen and we'll say, you know, it'd be fine. You know, I'm actually a lot smarter than most people think. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You know, so you're just kind of <laughs> fooling them a little bit, huh? Yeah, I, I'm just, I, I'm just playing with these guys. You know, I, I mean, I'm collecting millions. My family's happy. We, we really love L.A. more. You know, we love being down south, but. You know, just just don't let this out, okay? No, not at all. I ain't gonna say nothing. Because if if this, you know, if this gets out there, I'm, you know, wouldn't look real good. Yeah. So, so I can understand. So I can we understand. sent we sent up a couple people to Seattle, and we're gonna talk to Blake, and we're you know we'll we'll give him an offer that'll be just under what we think he wants, and so you know they'll come back, and you know I know Scotty Boris. He gives me a client or two, you know, I kick him back part of the salary. It's, it's, it's all, in details, you know, but seriously, we, we, I'm only telling this to you because I know you're a nice guy and trustworthy and we've been buddies, but, uh, I, I just think we got to make it look like we're in on some of these guys. Right. I mean, the whole Aaron judge thing, that was that was all, you know. In fact, we helped Aaron set some of this stuff up. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing at the hotel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Uh, uh, yeah, th that's, uh, you know, I I, I helped Aaron. I, I said, Aaron, do me a favor. I'm. You know, you know, I'm I'm in. 
I'm in the jackpot right now. Okay. I'm, they, they got, they got me by the balls. And so I just got to make it look like I'm really close to signing you. And, you know, Aaron said he would do it. So he came to the hotel, acted like he was here as a secret, you know. And the uh, bottom line was, is I hate the Yankees and I just knew they were going to go there. And so I, Hey, Farhan, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm I, getting some here. Well, I drove up, I drove up their price. Hold on one second. What's going on? Woo! We got shut down there for a few. For what? Fargon came in out here spilling the beans. What are you talking about? I was. Yeah. They came out here and I heard it in my headphones. Something about Farhan, you're done. I was like, what? What is this? Crazy, man. What the heck? I can't believe that they're doing this. Yeah. You mean Fargon came on? Yeah, Fargon was on here. I guess you missed him. They tried Dang. to shut us down because Fargon was letting in on the state secrets, man. What kind of secrets? Talking about, you know, hey, he's taking the Giants for a ride. He went to Harvard. Uh, he's just milking this, you know, to get all the money he can. It was incredible. He thought he thought he wasn't alive. He thought it was just me and him. Really? Yeah. It's pretty Dang. incredible. Yeah. I'm going to have to go that? back and watch that. Yeah. Go take a gander. Dang. It's an Looking, insight. Is he in trouble, you think? Or are you are is our show in trouble? Oh, I don't know, man. We're we're involved because we got the guy on here, man. And we'll just say he hijacked the show. We'll just say that. Jeez. Man. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. Always something special here on NorCal Sports Network. Hey, I every time I have some, Well, I've Shoot, have 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 far gone and Dan ever been me ever been on the show? Have I ever been on together with him? You got you've never been you've always seemed to miss far gone, and I don't know why. Every Dang. time you step out for a few, next thing you know, here comes far gone. Dang, I'm like Clark Kent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Northern Lights there. Uh, Glenn says, I always miss Farhan and Santa every time. Dang it. One of these times we're going to get him on. One of these Together. times. Yes. 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 Well, shoot. What's going on in the show? I missed part of it. But we got. Oh, he was just filling us in on what was going on with, uh, with the Giants and then on Snell. He kind of is basically saying, yeah, forget about it. He basically said, you know, competing with the Astros and the Dodgers, no way. He said, no Fargon way. said, no way. Farhan? Yeah. Yep. Fargon, Fargon. Harm, gone. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. He doesn't think they'll nope. get the No chance. The, no. Really? Why no doesn't chance. he just go get him? Or does he not want him? Or what? Is it just an act or something? Was he saying? Just an act. Just an act. No. Yeah. Just an act. He, he wouldn't say anything that stupid. <laughs> hey, like I said, he thought he was just being it. He thought it was just a off the record conversation. Oh, it was off the record. Yeah. And you were live? Live here on YouTube and Twitter or X. No yes. kidding. No kidding. And wait a minute. 
he said all that stuff to you and he thought it was just you and him yep. and you were, you were live. Did you tell him you were live? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you snake. You dirty <laughs> snake, man. Yes. Yeah, snake in the grass. Yes. I learned. Oh. I learned from Farhan. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That's huge. <laughs> well, I was, oh. that's funny you say that because I was, um, <laughs> wow. What was, did, huh? Well, I'll have to go back and look at it. Hey, the Giants had an off day yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Well, how'd they do today? They got rained out again. <laughs> again? Yeah, that's wow. screwed. Last week they had a day off and then they got rained out two days in a row. That's so they've crazy. missed they've missed like uh five games. They had they played like two innings today, and it, it's the second or third time they've what's played going on with the rain innings. over there. Usually it rains in the summertime over there, not in the damn spring. Sometimes we get some, it today was a really cold day and rainy. It was hot today here in California. My god. Wow. Whew. Wow! No, Clevenger has not signed with anyone yet, Matthew. Look, Padres possibly will get might get Clev. You know what would be awesome if the Padres went and got Clevenger and Bauer. Ooh, ooh. man! I gotta get me some water. I'm thirsty. Hold on. Go for You're it. Right. All right, I'm just taking a look at Twitter. I don't see anything new as far as uh, any any signings. Yeah. Uh, I think Dan's right. I think it's going to be sometime this weekend. We'll probably hear some news on where uh, good old Blake Snell goes. Um, it looked like it was over. Well, you know what? Shoot. Let's do it scientific-like, right? Let's do a poll. <laughs> Let's do a poll. You know how uh, how scientific these polls are. Man. Oh. No. Let's make it easy. Three options. There we go. All right, I got the pull out there. Pretty easy, guys. What kind of poll you got out there? Where does Blake Snell Blake got me saying? That. Where does Blake Snell sign? Astros, Giants, or other? Astros. So I'm gonna predict. Think Astros, huh? Let me look the poll up. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Got 16 votes. Come on, guys. I know we got like almost 300 watching on Twitter. Incredible. So there should be about, uh, my goodness, to have about, uh, yeah, 100 in here in the chat. Let's go. Come on. Let's at least get 50. Come on. He's going to opt out, so you might as well take one year with the Astros. You know what? And if things go well, maybe it's, you know, or don't go well, you got another year with the Astros. I mean, he's not. I'd be shocked if the Ooh. Giants got him. Giovanni, Giants are one or two moves away from being NOS champs. I would say one or two moves from, well, if it's pitching, a wild card, but I don't know about NOS champs. One or two moves. I don't know. I don't know. I would say wild card. If it's pitching, if it's if if it's decent starting pitchers, yeah, I'd say wild card. Whittle our show on the 27th of March, the night after the draft, when we do our predictions on the season. Ooh. Are we is that the date we're also doing it? Are we doing the no. picks the day after? Picks, yeah, picks the day after. Okay, so draft on the 26th for fantasy baseball. 
the prediction show on the 27th. And then it's opening right after- day. Post game number one, March 28th from San can, can Diego. We, can we get a little boop? The, the oh, music? you want to? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, opening day. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, opening day will be this. All right, March twenty eighth, opening day. Can I join the post game show on three twenty eight twenty four? Chardall. <laughs> Tell you what, you that can't is true. Have... That is true, Rux. Anything is possible. One hundred percent agree. Anything is possible. Every year, you know what, Chardall? Yes, I'm going to give you. I'm going to tell you one way you can join the post game show for the Giants opening game is if Logan Webb throws a no-hitter, you will be on the show as the lead voice. A complete, a, a full complete game, not just he goes five into no-hit. A full no-hitter, nine-inning no-hitter. Mm. There we go. Um. This is a spring training hat from what year is that? Oh, it doesn't say, does it? It says Arizona, huh? Wait, what's the year? Oh, 2018. Boach is last year. Man, mm. I should get this autograph by Boach. I should go down to uh I should go over to the Texas Rangers game and ask Boach to sign this right here. Huh? Last year as a giant, mm. last spring training, huh? Would mm. that be worth some bucks, maybe? Mm. Bucks, bucks, bucks. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we do a pregame and a postgame for opening day. I mean, that is special. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I think that's yeah, a good this... <clears throat> I like that. I like what you're stepping in there, Cliff. Who do they play on the um I will miss two I will miss one game post game and that is on April 1st when they play I think it's who the Dodgers. I'm going to miss it. Uh-oh. The Monday night. I have my right eye being done that day. Surgery. Oh. Yeah, that's a late surgery, too. It's like a four o'clock. Ooh, me and Lois can do it. Yeah. Yeah, you could come in without showing your face if you're all jacked up and talk. It's up to you. Oh, I could, yeah. Yeah. Your talking picture. Yeah. Or come in with a big patch on my eye. Yeah, you could do that, too. You can look like you got war damage if the Giants get shellacked. Yeah, let me look at the pitching on this. Let me see. <coughs> One. Yeah, Glenn could come in. Uh, Los, of course, can come in. I wonder how this is going to throw. When do the Dodgers play in? Um, they got who's going first game? Uh, Glasnow, then Yamamoto. Uh, yeah. I guess when it, when is that game, anyways? It's uh, next. Wednesday, I think the twentieth and twenty first here our time, but it's a day ahead. Yeah. Uh, let me look. I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> look at Los Scott Boris represents me. I'm renegotiating with NCSN management. Look at that. Okay. Three AM. I am not doing no damn show at 3 a.m. in the morning. For what? The Dodgers? Oh, I'm the not, Dodgers. No, yeah, that, no, that's a. Let me see. Wednesday, March 20th. Dodgers Padres, 3.05. And then Thursday, the 21st. 
So then they don't play again until the 20. Do they play the Angels? Come home and play the Angels? Yep, they do. And then they open up on Thursday, the 28th. The Dodgers are home to the Cardinals. So they're going to probably get to pitch Glasnow again mm. in the in the state's opening day. They're not going to go three, four, five. Mm -mm. No. Would they? I don't know. Maybe. No, because they wouldn't have their aces going up. They'd be set up. They'd always be uh, their aces wouldn't be facing. Oh, they wouldn't be all lined up. Yeah, I see. Yeah, what they would be. Saying. They'd be. They'd be possibly losing games. Um. So, <clears throat> let me see how this is going to work. Then, hey Giafani, here's a question I want to ask you: What if the Giants don't get Snell? Then where do you put the Giants? Just curious. Giovanni, if the Giants do not get Snell, how do you think the Giants fare in the season? Oh, the Giants are going to get Glasnow and Yamamoto in games two and three in that series, most likely. <laughs> oh, gosh. Who are they going to get in the San Diego series? Oh, they'll get they'll get a taste of everybody. They'll get Cease, uh, Musgrove. They'll get, they'll get Musgrove, Cease, and um and Darvish. Giovanni says if the Giants don't get Snell, still make wild card. Okay. okay. Got 52 votes out there. Right now it's showing 38% uh, Astros, 21% the Giants, and 40% other. Mm. Mm. So the chat thinks Snell is going to sign, but not with the Astros nor the Giants. That's where it's leading least i think he signs a three-year deal with opt out i think it's going to be 32 30, 30. million oh, 32, 33 million a year even with wheelers hi av <clears throat> yeah wheelers already signed and <clears throat> you don't have as much leverage when you're sitting without a job <laughs> no i mean right do you hmm Unless mm. the Phillies come swooping in at 35, 40 million a year for two years. You know, you know. I see the thing is I haven't heard what other teams were were in on this. Yeah. Let me see if I can do a little digging. Let me let me check with one of my sources. Let me make a phone call. See who is there. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to mute myself. While I'm All right, speaking. cool. Montgomery wants to play on the East Coast. He has told his agent that. Interesting. Flea Market Floppy Disk says, y'all got Chapman, one of the best defensive third basemen I've ever seen. He's got Davis, a decent bat. I can't field for shit. Which would you rather have as a Giants fan? We kind of went over that. Um there's certain people that love Chapman, and don't get me wrong, Chapman's gloves will be great. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna doubt that. But his bat, is is his bat really that much different than what JD Davis is is putting out there? Yeah, he probably has a little bit more pop, of course. But is he gonna really put up numbers that is going to be much different than what Davis would have done for you at a cheaper price? You know, we're talking about price now at a cheaper price. And then you also got Casey Schmidt again. Don't know what the guy has. You got to play him. Got to play him. And if you don't play him. For a, you know, maybe give him a full year, see what you got. Because look, if 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 Chapman has a great year, do you think he's going to stay with the Giants? No, he's going to opt out, and then the Giants got to find another third baseman. And who's it going to be? Right? If he's if he does shitty, guess what? He's going to opt in, and then the Giants are st stuck with a shitty hitting third baseman. I don't, I don't know. I think I'd rather take my risk on uh, the on on the the youth just to see what they can provide. Yeah, he, don't get me wrong; he had a pretty good look at last year. You know, he came out on fire. Then the the league adjusted to him. He went down to AAA, came back up, and he he was doing okay when he came back up. He wasn't striking out as much. He was getting a lot of uh, a lot better contact. 
So I think he, he made adjustments. So we'll see. I think I'd rather have played Casey Schmidt at third base, but that's me. That's me. Casey Schmidt. And if, and if it was a, you know, a platoon between JD Davis and Schmidt, I mean, that's not ideal, but do you think Chapman is worth the $20 million for what he's going to give you? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. Lowe says, how the hell do you win Cy Young with 14 wins? Well, you know, I tell you what. I'll tell you what, Lowe's. I don't look at wins so much for starting pitching. That's not exactly. How can you put a win on one guy, right, on the pitcher? Because he could do everything that needs to be done. And if your defense fails behind you, you know, you wind up with the L. Undeservedly. I'd rather look at strikeouts, innings pitched, uh, ERA plus, you know, because that that takes in consideration of, uh, of the ballpark that you pitch in. I mean, I think there's other factors I think you could use as far as the, uh, the worth of a pitcher. I just, I don't, I don't care for uh, the wins and losses. Innings pitched, strikeouts, um, how well you command the ball, that will tell you how many guys you walk. And that's kind of an issue with, uh, with Snell. He walks a lot, but he also, he also doesn't allow runs to come across. It's weird, man. It's like, it's, it's almost better if he starts off with a couple of guys on base before, you know, he starts actually pitching his better stuff. It's, it's strange, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, his, his yeah, Snell's ERA last year was incredibly low. Two and a quarter. I know. That's that is just it's incredible. Now, is it gonna is it gonna be the same this year? It's probably not gonna be two and a quarter this year. But we don't know. Don't know. And he pitched let didn't he pitch? He had less innings pitched last year than what Webb had, right? Yeah, didn't he have 190 pitches, 190 innings pitched last year or something like that? Who's that? Snell? No, no. How many innings pitched did Snell have last year? Oh, he didn't pitch. Is okay. That... So here, here, let's look at this. I'm gonna uh, here. Let me break this. Was down. it 180? I think. Hold on. Let me let me take a look at this. I'll pull it up right here. You bring I'll bring up uh Logan Webb. All right, I got Snell right. Boy, is it pouring here? Ooh. Blake Snell last year pitched 180. Exactly. I was right on. 180. Okay, here we go. Let's do this exercise. Uh, Webb had 216 innings pitched last year. Okay. Led the league, yeah. Led the league. So do you guys expect Webb to have a great year this year? Hmm. It's a lot of mileage. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm just, I'm gonna, let's ask the chat. Do you guys think Logan Webb is going to be the man that's coming here in 2024? Real quick, guys. Do you think Logan Webb is going to have a good year this year? Wow, I see a lot of people are kind of wondering whether or not he's going to have a good year. This is Logan Webb is supposed to be our number one, guys. Okay, Moji, Webb will be fine this year, okay? Thanks, Mo. Heroku, good year. Yes, okay. Logan Webb will have a good year. Got a couple of people that said good year. A couple of people on the fence. We need Webb to pitch like a Cy Young candidate. Okay, but do you think he will? Hope says no. Webb, decent se season, 185. Okay, the reason why I'm asking this, so he's out there pitching 216 innings last year. So why wouldn't you expect Snell, if he only pitched 180 innings, right? If he only pitched 180 innings last year, less than Logan Webb, then you should expect Snell to have somewhat similar numbers as Webb, no? even though Webb's a lot, uh, he's a more of a strikeout pitcher, but you can't sit there. What I'm saying is you can't sit there and say, Webb is going to have a great year after pitching 216 innings and then say Snell is not going to have a good year because he only pitched 180. What'd you think? 
Am I on something or, or am I just barking up a tree? You're on drugs, man. No, I'm on drugs. Fair enough. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're. But, you, but that's you what know I'm saying. That, yeah. I hear a lot of people, you know, hey, yeah, web. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. But then snow. Oh, you know, he's got a lot. I've heard people say he's got a lot of innings on his arm. and But you can't. You can't you can't not say that about Webb and say that about Snell. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. The guy I mean, had a two ERA, a two I, and a quarter ERA. I mean, uh, Snell doesn't throw a ton of innings in the past. Let's take a look at him here. Okay, 128 in 20 in the 22 season, 128 and 21, 107 and 19, 180. In 18. So 18 and 23 were his big years of innings pitch when he won the Cy Young Award. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty, pretty, not so good. Uh, I mean, 20. Right. Forget 2020. I don't just, I just don't even count that season. I mean, it's just like, you don't know where it's going to go. Um, but 18, look at that ERA, 1.89, 31 games. Uh 32 and 23, but the in 19, only 23 games, 27 games in 21, 24. So he's got more of a history of, you can kind of really say 2017 was his, <clears throat> I mean, he had 19 starts in 2016 and then 24, but he's only thrown 180 innings twice his major league. His 162 game average. I don't know where they get 177 innings in his 162 game average. Oh, that's if he played 162 games. Low says Snell has never thrown 200 innings. How many times has yeah. Webb thrown 200 innings? Well, let's take a look here. I got it right here. You got it up on uh, yep. on reference. Yep. Pull, pull it up then. I think he did in 22, didn't he? Nope. Pretty close. Yeah, 192. There we go. So he's only done it one year. And he kind of had to last year because <clears throat> there was no one else trying to. Webb's only really pitched for three years in the big leagues. Yeah. I mean, 19, he pitched a little bit. And he 21, did, 22, some... 23, the last three. Correct. Yeah, 20, he, he was out there. But, I mean, he was a starter in 2020. But his three full seasons were 21, and, 2, and 3. And you you can't discount those Cy Youngs. I see people talking about it. You cannot discount Cy Youngs. Come on. That's huge. That's That, that, that says you got something. Don't get me wrong. Is that the end-all, be-all? No, not at all. But he's a quality pitcher. Come on. Compared to what else the Giants – you you need someone like Snell if you want to compete. At this yeah, point I in the game – I don't even know why you're – like dicking around with the thing. Yeah, just do when, it. When you don't have nothing much pitching. I mean you don't you don't know what you have. You don't. I mean, if you if you want to look at something that's actually uh pretty crazy is um when you look at the uh you know the cots uh salary, for example, looking at Houston, that they're in on um, him, you know, look at Houston's right now. They're at 242. They're already over. They're already 258. Over. Mm -hmm. 258. They're sixth. So they'd be willing to put another 30 plus million onto that. And the Giants are sitting at 221 under. And I mean, they should just go over it. What the heck? It's one year. It's one year. Exactly. It's one year. And you're and you're and you're going to come off of it next year when uh, when uh, you got Bregman leaving, and then who else? Right? Isn't there someone else? Oh, well, Verlander could opt out too. Verlander, forgot about Verlander. Uh, but I'm talking about the Giants will be off of it. Look at the Giants. For um, is that up now? The Giants. Yeah, it's up. All right. Look who's going to probably come up. Conforto's definitely off. Eighteen million. Yes, gone. Cobb, ten million. That's gone. off. That's twenty eight million. Twenty eight million gone. Um, Yuskrimsky will be gone. 
They can. He, he's still got another arbitration year, but they can. Oh, another... oh, he does. Okay, I thought he was done. I thought he had. Well, that's. But they can. They can move off him if they chose. They just non-tender him. That's eight million. So eighteen and ten, twenty-eight. You're thirty-six million. Snell uh, or uh, Slater will be gone. Slater's four million, and Slater, yeah, he's he's a free agent. So there's um, forty and, million. And if Chapman has a great year, he's gone. Right. If Chapman has the year he thinks it's 40 million, you're like 60 million off. Go over for a year. Jeez. What do you, I mean, you'll be right back down and you'll have, you know, even if you signed Snell and he didn't opt out, I mean, you'd have a pitching staff of Webb, Ray, and Snell and Harrison. That's pretty good. Now Especially. you're competing, and who cares if Chapman's gone? You got Casey Schmidt to play third base. It's like this is what this is what's if they don't sign Snell this year, then signing Chapman, in my opinion, was a was a waste because you needed the pitching. You, you need did, the pitching, otherwise, you, what's the point of having that defense, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you want guys hit the ground balls, but when you get guys in there that are like some of these other guys, Black, Jeffries, Hick, I don't know who else out there. They might be more than ground balls. They might be hard ground balls or, through the hole or over the over the over fence. the head. Over the fence. <laughs> yeah, over the fence. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, ground balls are great as long as they're within reasonable range of of, of being fielded. But if <laughs> You know, I don't know. Wonder what that. Wonder what's going to happen with the, you know, the Giants. I mean, remember David VR? We talk about prospects. He was like, "Oh man, he's tearing the ball up in Sacramento. He's leading the home runs. Bring him up. Nothing. Right? Yep. This is why you get rid of prospects if you can get a deal. I mean, this is why AJ Preller." Goes out and gets it done. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Could you? Oh, man. I'm just thinking outside. Could you imagine if you traded for Corbin Burns and then you signed Blake Snell? You got freaking Burns and Snell and Webb. Uh, Burns and Webb and Snell. I mean, my goodness, man. You'd have, then you got Harrison and then you got the fifth spot ready for another young guy ready to come up. Yeah. It's just, it's just not. Ah. Really it's it's just like like we said does he have a plan does he really have a plan or is he just shooting in the wind don't know you know preller hasn't won anything you're right scott but at least he puts gets an he's got at least an excited they try. and and the fan base has been pretty excited right you and think, then you then you can't you they, i like what you say there Dan, because you can't fault the guy he's trying at least that's what you want from your from your GM. You want a guy that's out there to try to make the team good. It may work, it may not. But do, isn't that the job of your GM? Is to go out there and and build a winning team? I don't know how you could fault for that. A guan, what is that? A guan. A guy and his dogs. Oh, oh yeah, a guy and his dogs. All right, what kind of dogs you got? A guy and his dogs. Let me see. See if I can see a shepherd. I see a. Hold on, let me pull it up. Looks like here. a yeah, it looks like a German Shepherd. I see a Shepherd, and it looks like he has a Shepherd. I, his other dog looks like a fountain. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a water fountain. Okay, so he's got a Shepherd and a, or is that a, is that a Shepherd or is that one of those Maui? How do you oh, say? Oh yeah, yeah, the Belgian. Belgian. The Belgian. Might be a Belgian. Maui, Ma Maui. Ma yeah. Something like that. A guy in his dog. So I wonder what that's pretty cool. A guy and his dogs, but I don't. That one dog, really. Yeah, nice there it is. Him. There it is. A Belgian Malinois. Yeah. Okay. There, you go. there we go. Those are cool dogs, man. How they many are. you got of those? Um, it's very intelligent. Um, the Air yeah, Force uses those as working dogs. Yeah, police force is now using a lot of those. Yes. A friend very of mine, intelligent friend of mine, trains those dogs for the police. For oh, the nice. uh, for the Arizona uh, Highway Patrol. Too much. That's awesome. Too much, man. 
Yeah. If I lived out on a, um, you know, when I was up in Idaho and I had acres, I was like, my dream was to build a like kennel. A kennel. Yeah. Nice. I had, well, when I took Buster and Faith, when we left, when we leave Idaho to come down to Arizona for a week or whatever, I put them at this place. They had acres and acres of fenced land just to run. That's and, awesome. Uh, and uh, I, I wanted to, I, I kind of wanted to buy the guy's property, man. It's pretty cool. I would, um, yeah, if I had a place, I, I'd, I'd have a bunch of dogs, but. I'd have a bunch of dogs and a crew to pick up the dog crap. <laughs> <laughs> and a crew to pick up the dog crap. Yeah. Um, Giants are missing more than 180 innings. Pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Mike. Hey, Mike. Really? I thought Mike was, uh, I didn't know Mike was, I thought he was a Farhan lover. He just may be a giant lover. He says his dream is for Farhan to get fired. Chapman, what? Chapman, no. look at right there. Chapman said it. No, is that the same? No Chapman? way. It can't be that. That can't be the same Mike we know. That's got to be an is. imposter. I don't that know. Must be an imposter. <clears throat> is that you, Mike? Mike with the green M. Imposter has to be. Has to be. Yeah, Heroku's right, man. Just sign Bauer because you could trade him if he's doing well and the team's not, or just keep him. Or if he if he stinks, you can cut him. I mean, he's no, he's about the. I would think Farhan would be all over Bauer. He's so perfect candidate because he's zero risk contract wise. Right. <clears throat> zero. I mean. He's got the least risk of anybody financially of anybody in baseball. A one year deal with the league minimum with with uh incentives. Mm. Oh my goodness. That's like a no brainer. Seems like it, but you could sell that if you know how to sell. You right. You just say, look, we're signing him based off of what the records show he there was not guilty but we will we understand everybody's um concerns we are an organization that you know believes in blah 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 you know we protect all human rights blah 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 you know and but he's also been a dang good pitcher and he's gone through rehab we've we've vetted him thoroughly and he's here to prove himself and if he somehow something comes up that's not trevor knows that if he does something that is contrary to the team or hurts the team or hurts the image of the san francisco giants in any way we will be moving on from him yep. i mean that's how you just do it uh, I mean, why are people so chicken? Why are people so afraid of of just having uh, communication? Crap. I mean, there's been people who've done far worse things in many different avenues of life and have gotten uh, second chances or or more. I mean. Golly, it's like I don't get it. Uh, sick call commando. Yeah, the whole thing with uh, with Kapler. Yeah, that's but you know, that is a good point. I mean, he doesn't is, want because he already he, messed up with, yeah, he took, he took his mulligan already. Yeah, he sure did. Oh, um, do you think you are on here? Matt had a great point. He was talking about the contract with Farhan. Do you remember about a month, month and a half ago, 
there is an interview with Greg Johnson and he says no contract has been signed yet. And there's been no word on whether or not that extension has been signed. Do you think that this year, because this year is already paid for anyways, the extension was for two years, not for three. Do you think this year is a do or die and they're waiting to sign that contract until what they see what he does with this year? You think they're holding his feet to the fire? Oh, well, hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. And maybe remember Vince even said that on our show. He kind of alluded, hey, he's playing for his job. That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Hopefully, maybe that's why he's starting to work. Maybe. Granted, it's not, it's like kind of halfway done. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. The only thing I, I will give in far gone Farhan's um, hmm. defense is we don't know if the owners have put a strict money we limit don't know. on him. And he may have been told, you can go up to the cap, but don't go a dollar over. Okay, but it doesn't still doesn't jive with the public comments that Farhan has come out with, though. Because everything that he said made it seem like money's not an issue. Everything that he said. So if he had that stipulation, why? I know he- Greg Johnson said we don't mind going over for a year. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just t- we just laid it out. You I mean, could go pretty, over for one year, and then the it, next year, yeah, you, you can just go go right back down. I mean, that is so easy to do, Eric. I'm going to pull that back up here again. The cots, yeah. That's a weird name, cots. All right, so absolutely there's the, hope. There's the numbers. Okay, let's assume Chapman. For all intents, let's say he doesn't opt out. Okay. So now you got Conforto, 18 million. Cobb, 10 million. That's 28 million. Slater, for sure, gone. That's 32 million. Yaz, you can choose, which you, let's say you decide to, because you got guys in the wings. That's $40 million. And it's going to go up to like 242 next year. That's right? right. Right now you're sitting at what at two. What did we say the number was? They're sitting 220, at 220. Right? No, two. Yeah, 228. 221. 221. 221. So if if they went with Snell this year, and let's say it was 33 million, and they're 221. So they'd go up to 254. And now we've already said forty million. Now you're down to two fourteen, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. you're so you're way under again, and you have room to add more players next year. And if Chapman goes, you got another eighteen plus million. It's like one stinking year. One year you actually could sign Snell, and. Go over for one year, dip back under. It resets as long as you stay under for a year. You give yourselves a puncher's chance with Snell to to start off and be a playoff contender. And if you got into the playoffs, we've said this before with Snell, Webb, let's say Cobb is doing okay, and Robbie Ray comes back. We're not even counting on Harrison. You could have four really good pitchers, maybe five. You could win a series. And, and, and you know what? You could beat the Dodgers in a series with those pitchers. It's like hmm. I'm hearing Snell and Melvin have somewhat of a negative history in San Diego. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, I don't think their bullpen's that great either. The Giants, they've only got really four or five guys. I mean, they got two or three spots in that bullpen that are iffy. They're talking about some guy named Sanchez. <clears throat> I don't know who he is. 
he's making a name for himself as possibly making the team? Yes, Snell is a Dodger killer. He also does well against the Diamondbacks. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't want that. But looking else, what else could they get rid of next year? Um, you could move off of Wade if you wanted. That's three and a half. Uh, who's Austin Warren? Austin who? Warren, he's a right-handed pitcher. See him I have at the no bottom? idea who that is. He's making eight, seven league minimum. All right. Um, Flores drops to three and a half million next year. Logan Webb goes up four million next year. Man, Webb signed for cheap. Dang. Logan Webb is signed through 28? Wait a minute. Look at, I, got something, I got something to put up here. Are you still looking at that? Look at Webb's... Uh, yeah, look at Webb's 20... Uh... He signed for 23 million in 26, 27, and 28. That's it. He actually is only getting 8 million this year and 12 million next year. Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go. Which picture would you like? Let me see if I know who's who. Don't, hold on. Don't guess. I just don't guess who the pitcher is. Which pitcher would you like to have? Chat, left or right? Who do you want? They are both. <laughs> yes. Um, who would you rather have, left or right? Chat. Is this what, the last two years or three? Last three years, 2021 to 2023. Left or right? Move it. <laughs> left I or see right? The right, left, right. Your left, your left, your left, right, left, right, left. I'm uh, taking, uh, uh, can uh, I vote? Left or right? Yeah, go ahead. Left or right? I'll take the right. Right? Okay. So we got right, left, right, left, left. I like, I like the more innings pitched. Right, Moji says. I like the innings. Aaron pitch. Moss left. It's kind of split down the middle a little bit. Left. I like the. Anyone else? The, I like the strikeouts. I like the uh, ERAs better. Just a guy the more, in his dogs, right? He pitched. Run, uh, Ron, eight, left. 18 more games. Yep. What is their whip? It doesn't have the whip in here. Dr. Dilly. Dr. Dilly, right. <laughs> All right. I'm Roku guessing, left. I'm guessing. Los, who would you like? Left or right? I'll bet you that's Clevenger on the right. And... Crap, who's that on the left? Wins don't mean nothing for a starting pitcher, guys. Just going to tell you that. Bob Brad, right, all the way. Right is a horse. Yeah. What do you think, Los? Right or left? That might be... Uh... Who is that, Clevenger on the right? Might be. Webb? Rich Hill on the left. <laughs> Webby? So you got uh, games, more games, guy on the right. More innings pitched. ERA is better. 
ERA plus is pretty equal. Strikeouts, guy on the right. Strikeout percentage, the guy on the left. Walks. Who's that? Who's that? Who's walks. Nolan Ryan is on the right. Yeah, right all the way. Okay. Wait, I'm waiting for Los. I want Los to vote. Come on, Los. Webb is right. That's what Andrew says. Ben Bamboo, right. A lot of people are going right now. Clevenger and Ryan says Chardall. It's not Nolan Ryan. He didn't pitch in the last three years, guys. <laughs> I, I was wondering if someone was going to pick up on that. Last three years, 2021 through 2023. All right, guys, here we go. Clayton Kershaw. Right all day, says will be. Here we go. Is it, is it Clayton Kershaw on the left? Nope. Here, I'll give you a hint. Championships. Anyone can guess? Well, Blake Snell has two Cy Youngs. Maybe that was – I see Blake Snell's name there. Spencer Strider? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Pull it up again. Let me see the stats. There you go. That's the last. There you week. go. Well, you know what? That could be a little deceptive. Because didn't Strider just pitch at the end of two years ago? Like he just uh, came sure. up and said, didn't he just come up in like September? Isn't that really mostly two years of work? I'm not sure. I just put the last three years. You want me to do two years? Yeah, do two years. I'll bet you you're going to take the person on the left. Let's see. Actually, it's the same. I bet we switch to the left now when it's two years. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yep. yep. Keep going. Really? Look at the ERA plus. Look at the ERA. And each pitch is about the same. Hmm. It's pretty close. I don't know, man. Yeah, guy doesn't. Not. This guy doesn't allow runs. And he's got a better ERA plus. Again, that's Dang. taken. That's taken in consideration of the ballpark you pitch in. Dang, that's Snell looks pretty darn good there when you put it up against Snell Strider. looks pretty good. No, Strider's pretty good too. I'm not saying that Strider's bad. All right, replace but, replace Strider with Logan uh, Webb. Oh, Logan Webb. Okay, hold on one second. I didn't mean to stop sharing. Let's go. Get and, rid of Strider, put in Webb. And go three years. And we're gonna go three years now? Yeah, that's what Webb, yeah. Okay. Get results. Let me put it back up. Yeah, I'm taking Strider regardless. Dr. Dilly says, yeah, I mean, Strider's pretty nasty. I Strider's like good, but hey, you how can you guys deny what's what Snell's doing though? I like the fact really? that Strider, Strider will go what? deeper. Strider will go deeper. I think you're going to like Webb on this. What the hell is that? Webb's got nothing. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hold on one second. Refresh. That's why. Oh, look at that. Oh, definitely Webb. That's what I thought. Look at the innings pitched in the war. Oh, yeah, innings pitched. Absolutely. Look at the war. The war. Well, the war also takes in considering how they field their position. But wouldn't you like to have both of these guys? Keep going down. I want to see the plus. Oh, you're right. Plus is right plus. here. Oh, He's got those webs better. Yeah. They Dang. both don't allow very many runs. So why? How is that? It's a no-brainer, guys. Right? Why wouldn't you go out there? You could do it, Gi Giants. 
listen to me, San Francisco Giants, you can do this. <laughs> Go out there. You don't need a damn showcase to know that you have a double Cy Young Award winner out there for the taking. Go out there, pay the guy, and let's go. What is this guy? Come on! What do you like? Um, like Mr. Wilson in, in, in Home Improvement? We can't even see you. <laughs> Had to get hey, up Tim. close to the mic. Hey, Tim. How are you, Tim? I would uh, definitely uh, cut that back a little bit, Tim. <laughs> Honestly, how awesome would this rotation be with Webb and Snell as your 1A and 1B? How? What, what could go wrong? Uh, Not quite the worst team. And I get a little bit deeper for that one there, Aaron. A little bit. A little the, bit. The worst team. The worst team. In the in major the leagues. Yes. We'll get in. I'm sure we'll have a, quite a bit of that. <laughs> how much do you think, how bad, how bad do you think J.D. Davis wants to do when he faces the Giants four times in the regular season this year? Hmm. You know, he took, J.D. took the, um, he could have went with the Mets, <clears throat> but going with the A's gives him a chance to play every day and then go into free agency next year. Um, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And he, isn't Spencer Strider? Is he? A, he's not a free agent next year, is he? I think he is, right? No, Strider. Wait, I think he no, is. No, 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 no. He's Freed. not. Max Freed is. Max Freed is. Yes, correct. Yeah. But hey, guess who? Guess who's a free agent next year? Corbin Burns. Imagine that. Corbin Burns, Logan Webb. Blake Snell, Kyle Harrison, Robbie and then Ray. bring up one of your young studs, whether it's Wiz and Hunt. You have Hunt. Robbie Ray, too. You could start making Robbie trades. Robbie Ray. There you go. They're not going to go get court. I'll tell you what. The yeah. Giants, The Giants, when they got Robbie Ray, that was their deal. That was their deal. You know what I would do? Man, that would let be me so ask awesome. you guys this. Let me get, Let me ask you this. If you're going to go over the luxury tax, would you sign Blake Snell to a three-year, $100 million deal with opt-outs? Or the fact that you're going to have Robbie Ray, and he, and he probably would opt out Snell. Or would you just sign Snell, try, try and sign him to a one-year, $45 million deal? What do you think, guys? So either a three three year, thirty three a year for three years, right? A yeah, three it, year, thirty three a year, or one year, forty five. Yeah, just one year, man. Just w see what you want, man. F one year, because then you got Robbie Ray coming back. He'll be full strength next year. Yeah, and you don't, and and Farhan's not gonna. Farhan doesn't want um, to pay a ton of money. I mean, if you're, that's the way, because right now you just don't have the position players that are going to be bopping the ball over the place like the Dodgers. But if you sit there and make an, an, an just an outstanding starting rotation, because I know, look, for some reason the value on starting pitchers is is down. I get it. That's just you know because the the risk reward is just too great. But my gosh, man! I think I would. I I, I see Heroku says he he would do three year with option opt outs. I think I would do take the risk of paying the forty five million for one year, because what I don't want happening is Snell blowing his arm out and then opting in, and I'm stuck with. You know what I mean? I've mm. also got my younger pitchers that are supposedly on the cusp, and if he has a good year, he's opting out. Right? If Snell has a good year, he's going to opt out because he wants the longer term contract you hearing me yeah he wants the least five year right 150 six year he wants that security that's why he's out in the market it didn't get it this year so i would give him the 40 to 45 million for one year it's only seven to 12 million 
I don't know if he'd take 40, but I know he would take, I shouldn't say I know. I would think he would take 45 for one year. You're only costing yourself about 12 million plus the luxury tax or whatever, a little bit more, but you don't have to worry about anything. You know what I'm saying? So then if you want to do that, then next year when when Snell goes away, you still have Webb, Ray, Ray Harrison. And, then go, and Harrison and go sign Corbin Burns. Right. Right. Then you can try and you get got, your... you got something there because come on. But you may not even if Ray comes back and you have Ray and Webb and Harrison turns out as hope as he's hope. Now oh, you've yeah. got three three really solid oh, yeah. three like monsters in and it. then you still have your young guys that are supposed to be, you know, your win, whiz and hunt. Oh, and, you know what? And 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 that's you know. that rotation. Look at this as your righties, Webb and Burns, as your lefties, Ray and Harrison. I mean, yeah, to me, I mean, that's that's uh, let, I don't want to get into I, it's hard to project next year with Burns and stuff. We don't know what can happen, but you can project one year at a time. This starting for this year, you could say, you know what, we think, I mean. Bottom line is this. If you think you're a, truly a contender, that you built a contender with Solaire and Lee and Chapman, and you went out and did this, why wouldn't you just go take the contract on for the pitching? If it's if you think you're ready this year, but you need the pitcher, go get him and sign him to a big one-year deal. Well, you know what? Yeah. And say, you know what? If he says, well, I want the security of more money for two years. Then you say, okay, we'll make the second year 15 million. You get 45 and 15 or 40 mm. and 15. You get, you know, you're not getting, you're not getting 60 plus out, out of us, you right. know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, you would 60, but you're not getting 45 for two years. You're not getting right, 90. You ain't getting 90, right. You're not getting no 90. You want the second year? Okay, it's going to be with an opt-out. You can have the opt-out. Hey, Los, real quick. He says Strider's 25, Snell's 31. Like I said, pay pitchers for the future. Here's the problem with that, though, Los. You got to blame the league. Because guess what? When Strider hits 31... Because that's probably when he's going to be a free agent. Because free these players don't become free agents. They can't make their big money until they're 30 well into their thirties. About thirty. So, about 30. so you're, you're, it's a disservice to the pitchers who have done an extremely great job throughout their career. But because they're starting to get up in their age, you're going to penalize them for because of their age, right? Now I, I get it. You know, the older you get, the the less effective you could be as a starting pitcher. But I can't. I cannot. I can't fault. I can't fault paying for pitchers' past performance because it is an indicator. It's an indicator. What it's not an indicator of, though, is you know, is it gonna? How is the stuff playing? I'm sure there's stuff that they go like uh, look at to see how their stuff plays. But you've got to be. A, they, there's got to be a happy medium, right? Maybe not the exorbitant cost of forty-five million a year. You know that that seems a little bit ridiculous. But they, there's got to be a happy ground in there somewhere where you're paying these guys what they're worth, but not to the point to where it just hampers your organization. There's got to be something there. There's got to be something there that can be worked out. But unfortunately, that's the issue between MLB and the players' union, and that that that. Issue is not going to go away, not anytime soon. So that that's that's the that's the tough part about when paying for pitchers. I get it. When you when you overpay for some of you guys, you're taking a huge risk. There's no doubt about it. But there's got to be something. There's got to be something to where you're able to pay pitchers where they want to. You know, they're of course they're just like any other player. They want to have their security. They just happen to chose the profession of pitching rather than swinging a bat. Kind of sucks. Hmm. 
26. 27 is the ideal age for a five, six year deal. Oh, it is, but pitcher. that never happens right now in the MLB. It just doesn't. Good point, sick call, Commander. Commando. Posey knows now and has competed. Don't you think he would want it? But you know what? I don't. Man, with some of the decisions that that Farhan has made, it makes me wonder how much influence Posey really has as a owner. I don't know, man. I thought he was going to play a much bigger. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I don't, I don't know. I think the game. No, it did it for Webb. You know what they did with Webb? He never went. He, 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 they extended him. He never got the free agency. They bought out his last what, three years of arbitration. Something like that. Last three years. He would have been 30 if he hit free agency, but they extended him before he got the free agency. I'll tell you what I see happening in this game. More players are starting to come in and develop younger. I mean, we're seeing Jackson Holiday, mm. Churio, guys that are 19, getting big, you know, uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Exactly, um, Los. Um, guys like Ellie De La Cruz, um, the kid from Seattle, Rodriguez. Yep. Speaking to that, those clubs are signing their guys to long term or big, giving them bigger deals right off the bat. You notice that? Well, to try yeah. To yeah. What I'm saying is, sorry, I'm I'm hungry. It's all good. The guys, it's a younger game, and. Guys are starting to develop because of travel ball year round. Mm -hmm. And the Giants don't have any of these guys. What giant are we seeing develop and come up at 21, 22 even, and being, you know. A phenom? Yeah. Um, you know, if we went through the list of – teams um i'm just wondering yeah harrison because he's what 22 but we don't know what he has though that, i mean we'll see we'll see Prapa says giants need to stop playing in science now WTF is the risk of a one-year deal. Yeah. Eldridge, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where he goes. Maybe. I hope. If he keeps hitting the way he's doing through double A, well, then again, we don't know. We'll see. You want him. Don't get me wrong. You want to, you want to see him hitting in double A and triple A. Seen that before. Last year, seen that before. Oh yeah, you're right on that, Los. Yeah, if Snell comes and picks it, uh, pitches in Oracle Park, oh man, he's gonna put up monster numbers. Probably, you know, it might be the same as it was now. He might have a a two ERA. He might. I, hey, Dan, you're muted. I said, here's a guy that can hit. Look how um, forgot I was chewing, so I muted myself. Um, he's only. Um, Looks like he's going to be, what, 3 plus 24. He's going to be 27. I mean, look at his – the guy can hit. The guy can hit. Um, you know, if we went and looked at this list, can you see that list there of all of baseball? Oh, players? that's a lot. Yeah. This is just alphabetical order, every every player. You know, you can just fly through. Yeah. Um, I wanted to – who are the – who are the young guys in baseball? Just – Throw out some names. I'm Chad. I'm not looking at the chat because I'm off a different screen, so I can see it better. All right, I'll take a gander at it. Look at the chat. I'll pull up. To, give me a name that is young, that's super young, 
and we'll just see what these teams are doing because I um, I can't see everybody. You know, I mean, we saw Acuna come up, Acuna, Ronald yeah, Acuna come up and did it. He was how old young. is he? Twenty four, twenty five. How old is he now? Yeah, Let's how see. old is he? Acuna, Acuna Matata. Where are you? C.J. Right? Abrams. So there yep. they're A's. There you go. Okay, hold on. Where's Acuna? Okay. Acuna is 26. Born in 90. Yeah, he'll be 27 at the end of the year. So he's 26 all this year. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is what his third or fourth year? Um, yeah, he came up when he was 21, if I'm not mistaken, right? Something like this. like his fifth year, actually. Yeah. He's been in there a while. Uh, okay. CJ. Abrams. CJ. I like this kid. 23. This kid is only 23. And what did the what did the Nationals do last year? Now, see the difference between the Nationals, the Pirates, the Reds, and the Giants is the Giants keep doing what you call a trying to compete without doing a real tear down and rebuild and letting your guys develop. So this is why I'm saying that the teams like the Reds, the Nationals. Uh, the Pirates, they will surpass the Giants. They will be on the path that Baltimore was. The Giants have not done a full teardown. They've tried to compete with mid-level players that have blocked their prospects. Their prospects have not been all that good. So the draft of the 19 draft with Farhan was Hunter Bishop, which has been a disaster wow. draft. The 2020 draft was Schmidt and Bailey and maybe Harrison, wasn't it? Too? It's Gerald. What draft was he in? 19? I can't remember. He I might've been in 19 or 20. Um, was it Harrison so in the 20? Yes, Harrison was in the 20 as a four. Yeah. So the 20 draft was pretty good. The 21, nothing great yet. 22, nothing to show of yet. 23 looks like it could be a good draft. So the plan is to stay mediocre. Uh, the Giants, it's ridiculous what they're doing. And it's going to happen again this year, I believe. I believe these guys are going to block another year of Schmidt, Matos. I mean, you know what the Dodgers did last year? Brought up all their pitchers. <laughs> they had to, though. They gave Miguel Vargas a full mm. six, you know, couple hundred at-bats to see if he could do it because he did it in the minor leagues. He couldn't get it done, right? So they said – Go back to the minors and get yourself right. He comes back up later and he started hitting again. He made adjustments, mm -hmm. figured something out. Giants don't do that. Mm -mm. And that's why you're going to stay mediocre. The Washington Nationals, we were just looking at C.J. Abrams, right? We yep. are looking at C.J. Abrams. Yes, we are. Okay. Look at his stats for 23. 18 homers, 47 stolen bases. The Whew. guy's going to be a 2050 guy possibly this year. And I believe Whew. he will be. He's 24. Um, and he's going to get better. You want to look at some of the other guys that the Nationals have? Let me go to the letter W. If he's Wood. I don't know if he's in here because these might just be major leaguers. Yeah, I don't see him. No, okay. So this they don't have. Um okay, but what what happened to Mike? Come on. For my letter. Okay. So um CJ Abrams, a, a young guy really like. Uh, give me another young name as we, um, Oh, the kid, the shortstop from, um, Pittsburgh. I saw it up here earlier. Where is it? Oh, Someone Perez O'Neill. Um, 
Hayes. Oh, oh, that's the third baseman. Is he third baseman? I thought he was shortstop. Yeah. Let's let's go through. What about O'Neill Cruz? How old is he? Yeah, O'Neill Cruz. Let me get to him. That's the one I'm. C. There he is. He's 25. He missed all last year. That kind of sucked. Yeah. Um, okay. How about Bobby Witt Jr.? Hmm. Hold on here. Let me let me let me see these names up here. That's <laughs> China Basin. Sutsugo. Susugio. Um, I just can't find any of the young guys here. Getting a lot of um, good talk about Dylan Cease, how he'll have a, that he actually is a strong competitor, had a rough year last year, but he, he could be. Corbin he could Carroll, be how old is he? Oh, Carroll. Let's check him out. He was rookie of the year last year. C O or C A? C A, right? There we go. Twenty three. Twenty three doesn't turn twenty four till almost the end of the year, end of August. August twenty one. So twenty three. Look at that. Yeah. Um, why? You know. I think Tyler isn't Tyler Fitzgerald kind of old. For yeah, a, he's older. He's already twenty five, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be on this list. He's not a major leaguer. Yeah, he was last year. He should be on it. Oh, he is. There it is, Tyler. Any, anybody who's he's twenty six already. See, this is what I'm, he's twenty six. I mean, it's not, bad, but when you have him hit the major leagues. You know, okay. full time. Yeah. How about Casey Schmidt? He's getting up there. Casey Schmidt's, I think, 25 or 26. Yeah. I think he's tw is he 24 still. No, I think, he, I think I, he's older. I thought maybe I'm wrong. Come on. Landon Roop is 25. See, this is what I'm talking about. All these guys. Where are the Giants guys that are 21? That Schmidt are, or not Schmidt to Harrison. Matos. Yeah, Casey, he's 25. Is um, born ninety nine, so he is twenty. He just turned twenty five, right? Yep, just yeah. turned. Just turned twenty five. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, isn't Juan Soto only like twenty six? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's already got he's already got a World Series ring back in 19. Yeah, he's 26. I mean, why do the Giants? I mean, let's do this exercise. Let's just do this and we'll we'll we'll, we'll finish up with this. Raider Bob signed some real talent. I'm sick of this BS. All right, let's pull up teams standings. All right. Oh, these are spring training standings, but that's okay. We can get the, we can, we can, we can get the um, exercise out of this. What I want to do is look at every team. Now I'm going to need the chat's help here. Who's the, you know, we, we know the young guys in Baltimore. All right. <laughs> they got several of them, right? Rutschman, Gunnar Henderson. Now we got Jackson holiday. So there's young guys that are developing, coming up, coming up at like 21, 22 years of age or younger. Baltimore, I mean Detroit, they had uh, the kid Riley Green. How old's Riley Green? When can you look up uh, Riley Green? And they got the other kid Torkelson that came up, um, the first baseman. Didn't they have somebody else? He got hurt though, Casey Myers. Riley Green is twenty three. Look at that. And he's already playing every day and he's yeah. How's that left-handed pitcher that they got that came out of that's starting? What's the guy that you liked him last year? 
Skookle, Skokel, Skobel. Oh, Scooble? That was a Bora, like Scrooble. Scooble, yeah. Scooble. Scooby Doo. How old Scooby Doo? Ellie Dela Cruz, 22 years old. Okay, so we can get Ellie when we get to there. Okay. Um, I can't remember. What's his first name? I don't know. Steve? Tariq. Oh, Tariq. Tariq. He is 27. Okay. All right. The Red Sox have a shortstop coming up. I can't remember. Gosh, what's his name? I remember in the draft. Um, I think it's a, a Hispanic last name. Mm. Red Sox. Let me see. What does this do for me? Roster. What's that kid's name? Infielders. Oh, look. Oh, he, does this give us age right here? Yeah. Are you seeing this screen? Uh, yeah. What you okay. see? Cases. That's a young guy. Oh, Cassis, he's the first baseman. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's only 20, uh, 24. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, there's his birthday right there. Date of birth in the right yep. column. There you go. Okay, there's another shortstop, but he's not on the roster. Okay, he's not on the 40 man, but he's coming. All right. So we, we let's let's hit the uh net, Mike, the Nationals. It's called the Tandy 1000. That who is in charge of scouting players for the Giants. The Tandy 1000. The Nationals, we've already covered them, right? Yep. Astros, they have their shortstop, right? That won the uh, MVP the other Pena. year. Pena. Let's see how old he is. He won the World Series MVP. Yeah. Right. He he is. Well, he's now twenty six. Wait, twenty four. Yeah, he's twenty six. He turns twenty seven the end of the year. Okay. They don't have it. The the Astros window is almost closed, guys. Yep. Hey, senior, isn't Kobe Mayo? He's an Oriole, right? I think he's an Oriole. Yep. God. And they also got uh, Colton Cowser, too. Yeah. I mean, they got so many guys, man. They are building a powerhouse. Yep. And 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 they'll have their run. And they will. this is what amazes me about the Dodgers being able to win for 13 uh, since 2013, 11 straight seasons. And they keep going. So I don't see how they – yeah, it's pretty remarkable they've been able to keep doing that. Um, what else? Forget Toronto. Do they have any any young guys? Where's my roster? Why don't we get a roster on here for the Blue Jays? Where the heck is it? Do you guys see roster up there? I, d I don't. Usually it's at the top. Yeah, it's right here. I thought they were all uniformed. Forget you guys said. Fine. Didn't. Mets, I don't know if they have anybody. They got the Cunha's brother, but I don't know if he's that good. The Braves, they got Strider, who's pretty young still, right? Well, the Braves, don't they have uh, – Oops, not scores. I wanted roster. Okay, let's look at their roster. Do they have anybody on here that's born? Uh, Bryce Elder, he's 25. Um, Ninety-seven. Albies is still fairly young. And Michael and Harris, it, he's only 23. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Harris, he's just turned 23. And look what he's already accomplished. I know. Acuna's already done it. I mean, we could also look at guys that have already done it from a young age, too. The, what, the point of this exercise is, where are the Giants doing? Why haven't we seen a young guy? Who was the last young guy that came up for the Giants? You know, 23-ish. It was Posey, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, do you count Harrison or not yet? Well, we haven't seen what he's done yet, but I think he's going to be that. 
I hope. You're talking about someone who's actually done it? Yeah, I guess. I'm actually so, that's successful. I don't Matt care. Bum, if get... He came up when he was, what, yeah. 20, 21? Yes. Matt yep. Bum, great example. Yeah. Good job, Dr. Dilly. There we go, Mad Bum. But you're still going down in baseball fan fantasy. The Phillies have it. Baseball fantasy. Do the Phillies have anybody? Oh, I don't know. Come on, Roster, pop up. There we go. I'm just looking. Or guys that have done it. I'm scrolling. It's got to be around 90, 99, uh, rough, uh, catcher. Yeah. Um, all right, senior. Have a good one, man. Take care, senior. Have a safe trip. Good luck to the team, man. Yeah. Awesome. Johan Rojas. He's 24, um, outfielder, mm -hmm. but no, not, but not really anybody on the Phillies, but yeah, I'm getting kind of tired too. Yeah. So. It's getting a little bit long. Yeah, so I think we're going to head head out. But uh point is, the Giants got to come up with somebody. They used to be the team to do it. I know. You know, they were the team that always found the the hidden stars, the Latin guys, the through the draft. I mean, I'm Yeah, I mean, right? What the I'm hoping he goes down there and finds it, busts it up. The one thing that's going to upset me, though, is if you know what's going to upset me on this year's team? What's that? Mm. I will be really pissed because he needs to play every day. And the, the fact that they're going to give Yaz the job. I know. Uh, the, the AI becomes your scouting department. Yep, exactly. The, the fact that they are going to give Yaz the job and Matos doesn't even I'm going to check that out because I did see Yaz made a big catch today but I don't know if they had any stats for the game or if it was just officially I know it was cancelled let me see they don't even give us a box so we don't even know that stinks alright so, take it easy, PK. I don't even think yeah, Yaskrimski does he have just like one hit so far this spring? Something like that, not much. But. Yeah, and he's going to be handed the job. And Matos, I mean, when you look at Matos versus Yaz, don't you think Matos has more upside? A, yeah, way more. Yeah. Upside. So. I don't get why you would not even give him a chance. Uh, so you're gonna send him down. You're gonna go with that. If but if they keep Matos on the 40 man roster, and they don't play him because they committed to playing the other three outfielders, I'll tell you what, you're gonna see a, a you know NorCal Sports Network uh, host go nuclear. Because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm going to come up a little closer and tighter for this. No, I'm serious. You put Matos on the 26 man roster as a role player type guy, you are the stupidest organization I can think of. Because that guy can play, he needs to develop. He, he has the chance to be an all-star someday. So you don't sit a guy like that. Um, so we'll see what they do. Um, yeah, Slater had a two-run double. Oh, he Yasmin. got a hit? He got his first hit? Yeah. 
Yaz wow. made a big diving catch out and right. I saw that. Um, but anyway. Oh, guys, Monday night. Um, most likely it'll be Eric and somebody else with him. <laughs> I, I don't know who that might be. Maybe, maybe Glenn. Maybe Los. I've got some eye surgery. And I don't know how I'll feel. You know, right. got to have the patch on overnight till Tuesday. And uh, what? Northern Inner Lights had just saw that S- Snell and Dodgers may happen. I haven't. Wait I'm looking at Twitter. I don't see nothing. What, what's the source on that, Glenn? Where'd you see it? Where are you seeing that, Glenn? Eric says, get Eric and Rousseau for Monday night. Uh, nice. I smell what you're stepping in, Eric. Um, did Glenn come back with where he heard that? Uh, not yet. Um, Sound the nuke. Yeah, that might be an alarm. We'll see. Sports Illustrated, he said. So, SI. That might be old then. I don't know if that's going to be up to date. Yeah, I can't see them doing that uh, at this point. Let me let me do a one more search here. In fact, we're just going to stay on until Snell signs. <laughs> we're just going to leave this up and running. We'll, we'll have, you know... Little check-ins every three or four hours. Somebody, maybe Shardall, come on from two to three. <laughs> Shohei Otani through his interpreter, Ipe. I want to prove to everyone that I'm actually a Dodger. Hmm. Oh, no, seven hours ago. Blake Snell to the Dodgers. MLB analysts think it's very possible. This is what I said the other night. Why would you stop if you spent that much money? You're already. Right. Why not just kind of like ensure that you're going to win? Correct. Yeah, but I don't um, know. Were they were they one of the teams at the showcase? Uh, who knows? Yeah. Okay, let me look here. Um, let me end that poll real quick. Oh, wow. Look at this. 116 votes. 34% Astros. 33% Giants. 34% Other. How that? That's a crazy poll. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. 34, 33, 33? 4. 34. Well, now it says 33, 33, 32. And you can't get... How does that happen? That's 99%. How did you get 34, 34, and 33? Because right, that's, that's over. That's a 101. Well, I'd saying right now, when I finished it, it says 33 for Astros, 33 for other, 32 for Giants. Interesting. Huh. Uh, there you go. So the Dodgers, some people still, you know, that's speculation just on somebody. There's. Blake Snell's agent, that would be Boris, praises Dodgers owner for making difficult moves one day ago. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> boy. Blake oh, Snell boy. reportedly has strong. I've seen if that. If Snell goes to the Dodgers. Oh my God. Wow. Um, if Snell goes to the Dodgers. Hey, I got a, I got a, I got a, uh, uh, rocks. We lose out by 1%. Go figure. (laughs) 
pretty good. I like it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Good point, Will. Will Martinez says, if the Dodgers are in on Snell, it's only drive up the cost for the Giants. Farhone won't get it done. Could be. But could you imagine if he goes to the Dodgers? Yeah. That would be something. Phew. Yamamoto, Glasnow, Snell. If I said Blue Velvets, do you know who the Blue Velvets are? I have no idea. How about the Gollywogs? Gollywogs? Never heard of the Gollywogs. Eric doesn't know his history. Nope. What band was named the Gollywogs? I have no idea. Hold on here. I'm going to show you. You're going to show me who the Gollywogs were? I'm going to show you. Let's see if the chat knows. You know who probably knows? Glenn. The Gollywogs. The Gollywogs are these fantasy names. Eric would love to know this. Eric's going to be shocked. Uh, let me guess. It's probably CCR. There you go, baby. See it? Where's the blue? The Gollywogs. Yeah, pre-credence. There you go. Gollywogs. It's timed in the show. My light just burnt out after three nights. Oh, there I'm it went. not charging right. it. Get ready to show. Oh, there it is. Northern Lights. He got it. They became credence. They became. There it is. Yeah. Hey, we're Glenn. We got to get you. We got to find out, Glenn, if we could. Um, can people find you, Glenn? Your stations online and listen. Yeah. Can we? You. Can do you stream online? Yeah. You stream online, Glenn. That would be. Uh, yeah. Let us know in the chat. Uh, they are were jazz band, believe it or not, at first. See, Glenn, do, does does uh, do you stream online where people can? We can go to your online and listen to your your stations, your shows. That would actually be pretty cool. That'd be awesome. I play Credence all the time in my house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just I just yell at Alexa. I say Alexa. Volume 10. <laughs> and then then I say, Alexa, play some crazy. Six of my stations are up online. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to be promoting those fairly soon. We are going to be promoting right these on. stations. Freedom. Especially, remember Freedom Rock? Remember the commercials? Especially the rock. The rock. Yeah. I don't know what the best music era of music was. I don't know if it's it's, it's a toss up to me between the sixties and seventies. Sixties and seventies, man. Woo! It's sixties and seventies. Freedom 70s. rock, man. Turn it up. Sixties, seventies, early, early eighties, but not. Uh, it it's kind of like kind of like the wrestling. It kind of fell apart, fell off after. Like 2002, right? Wrestling, didn't it kind of maybe up to about 2010? I don't know. Yeah, when some of the good guys, like when Stone Cold were gone, and kind of the Rock got into acting. Los D says 80s. 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 That's a bunch of synthesizer stuff. Yeah, I'm not big on that. You know. Will B says 80s metal was pretty good. 80s metal was good. Yes. 80s metal was good. Ron Raquel, he's got it. 60s, 70s, and early 80s, just like me. I call that's that's my Who was the best? We gotta do this. Shoot, too bad we started this too late. We'll we'll have to do this. Yeah, we have to do time. it again. We're already at two. We and still a half. got four hundred and sixty seven though in the chat. Yeah, in most Twitter. of them are on Twitter. But Rock, I mean bands. I don't know. Top five band. We I wish we should do a little bracket. Let's put together a bracket, Eric. It's, it's we're getting March Madness. 
bracket time. We, we bracket do, time? Let's do some shows next week with brackets. Oh, wow. Let's do some music brackets, face off. And let's do some uh, Bay Area top athlete, top players, you know, a bracket. We can come up with 64. We can even come up with 68 of play-in games. See, man, but that well, you already know it's going to come down to the final four with that, though. We got to do something that's going to be a little bit more Quicker. not as predictable. Not as predictable. You know, because Mays, Montana, I mean, we all know those guys are going to wind up getting up there. You know? Curry. Right. My route, my, 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 my route much more. <laughs> My route, your mush route, Mushmore. Mush my route. <laughs> I've only, I haven't had anything to drink, honestly, guys. My route, Mushmore. Uh, my Mount Rushmore. I saw that, Glenn. Thanks. Ah, my my Mount Rushmore. If I was doing it, if you if you said, okay, let's gun to my head. You got 15 seconds, Mount Rushmore. Bay Area, I'm quick. Uh, Montana, Rice, Curry. Uh, Maze. Okay. There you go. Gun to your head, Eric. Yeah, same. Same. Same four? Yeah, I mean, goodness, come on. I mean, Montana, I had, I, Montana Posey, Rice. Posey, Posey was in my head. In Maze. Oh, I don't think uh, mm, uh, Posey's great, but I know three championships. So, where does Barry Bonds fall into the? Ooh, gosh, good point. Ronnie Lott. Mm, Ronnie Lott, he's up there, but he's not Mount Rushmore. Steve Young. I don't have Steve Young in the Mount Rushmore. I can't, um, Eric, but. He's, he's oh wow, low sleeves off Montana. Rice, curry, maize, bonds. Los. Wow. Leaves off Montana. All right, hey man, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, we're out, but we will do this next week. We'll um it's kind of a slower week. Snell should sign with somebody. If the Giants will have something to definitely talk about. But we're gonna put together some uh Brackets, because the brackets get announced here Sunday for March Madness. So we're going to come up with Bracket Week, um, and we'll have, we'll play along with that, and we'll do some brackets on bands. That's tough, Will. That's tough. Woo! Where's Will saying? Between Metallica and Megadeth. Okay, we're going to do some. Oof. We're going to do some bands. <laughs> Lose, I'm trying to stretch you to three hours again. Not going to make it, Lose. Because this thing is going to abort really quickly here anytime. Uh, boom! It's gone. No. Uh, so give me give me some thoughts real quick. We got music. What else can we do? Music? With... What else can we do? Um, we can do some athletes. We can do athletes. Maybe. Um... Restaurants? Uh, no. Restaurants? Okay. They don't have food. to be the area Something restaurants. Something with food. Restaurants or food. Um... I want to. I want to do one. I want to do one every night next week. Except oh for you know, restaurant. We got restaurants or food. Just Gosh, restaurant chains. Else? Restaurant chains, maybe. Restaurant chains. We got uh, Bay Area. San athletes. Francisco based motion pictures. That's pretty good, Glenn. Right. That's pretty good. When we do some of these, we'll have to bring in uh, we'll have to bring in Glenn for some Glenn of these and shows Los. and Los because they are uh, what we might call more. Uh, they got the some pop culture stuff in them. Yeah, a little more cultureized than say even us. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys. All right, let's get out Monday of here. Night. I may be here. I may not. I we'll see how I feel, but. The channel will be on, 
and we'll get it straight. Muscle cars, Lowe's. Muscle cars. Mm. <laughs> we'll come up with it. But uh, guys, have a great weekend. And uh, hey, if anything breaks over the weekend, we come on. Sure. If yeah. uh, if if Snell's a giant, will or the Giants come up with a big yep. move? We'll come on. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see ya. See you Monday. Woo!